They aimed the most advanced space telescope ever created toward a place that seemed utterly empty. No stars. No galaxies. No visible structure. Just a stretch of deep, silent black. For years, astronomers had overlooked that region of sky. Earlier instruments had scanned it briefly and found almost nothing, only a few dim, distant points of light. By the logic of the time, that made sense. Darkness was interpreted as absence. If nothing obvious appeared, there was nothing worth examining more closely. But when the James Webb Space Telescope focused on that same darkness, the story changed completely. Webb didn't take a quick look. It didn't skim the surface. It watched. For days, it gathered the weakest light imaginable, photons that had traveled across the universe for billions of years, stretched thin by cosmic expansion, nearly lost to time. With every passing hour, the image grew deeper. With every moment, more of reality emerged from concealment. When the final image was revealed, it didn't just challenge expectations. It destroyed them. Where earlier telescopes detected only a handful of distant galaxies, Webb uncovered an overwhelming sea of them, tens of thousands crowded into a patch of sky smaller than a grain of sand held at arm's length. Entire galaxies, each filled with stars, had been hiding in what once appeared to be complete emptiness. This was not simply a clearer photograph. It was a correction. For most of human history, we had not been observing the universe as it truly is. We had only been seeing what our tools allowed us to see. The universe was never quiet. Never sparse. Never empty. We were. For generations, astronomers tried to understand the cosmos by counting what was visible, stars, galaxies, light, and using those counts to estimate everything else. The method felt logical. Observe what you can, calculate density, extend the math outward. But the flaw was profound. It was like trying to estimate the population of an entire city by standing on a single street at midnight and counting whoever happened to pass by. That was our approach to the universe. Hubble transformed astronomy, but it was limited to visible light and the oldest light in the universe no longer exists in that form. As space expands, ancient light stretches into infrared wavelengths, completely invisible to Hubble. Those galaxies were never missing. They were never gone. They were simply hidden. When Webb arrived with infrared vision, the universe itself did not change. Our awareness did. Darkness dissolved into abundance. Emptiness revealed itself as illusion. Scientists intentionally pointed Webb at the same region Hubble had observed and instructed it to stare, without rushing, without shortcuts, without assumptions. Just patience. Just time. What Webb returned was staggering. A dense population of galaxies, each containing billions, sometimes hundreds of billions, of stars. Around many of those stars, planets almost certainly exist. And on some of those planets, the conditions for life may have emerged. All of it concealed in a place once dismissed as nothing. The implication was unsettling. If we were so wrong about a tiny fragment of sky, then our estimates for the entire universe are almost certainly incomplete. The number of galaxies may be far greater than anything previously imagined, so vast that the numbers stop feeling real and begin to lose meaning. The universe didn't just become larger. It became harder to grasp. Then Webb revealed something even more troubling. It found galaxies that should not exist. Massive, organized systems appearing astonishingly early, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. According to existing models, there should not have been enough time for such large, structured galaxies to form. At first, scientists suspected error. Instruments were recalibrated. Data was rechecked. 
measurements were repeated. The results held. And these galaxies were not rare. The early universe was not slow or gentle. It was violent with creation. Stars ignited at extreme rates. Galaxies assembled in cosmic instants, not gradual ages. Structure did not patiently evolve, it erupted. This forced a fundamental reassessment. Although the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, the limit of what we can observe lies far beyond that number. This apparent contradiction exists because the universe is not static. Space itself is stretching. As the universe expands, it carries galaxies along with it, increasing the distance between everything over time. Because of this expansion, the observable universe now spans roughly 46 billion light years in every direction. Life that began its journey shortly after the Big Bang has been traveling toward us for billions of years, but during that entire time, the space beneath it has continued to grow. The destination kept moving while the light was already on its way. As photons race toward Earth, Galaxies are pulled farther and farther back by the expanding fabric of space. Some of those galaxies are now receding from us faster than the speed of light, not because they are breaking the laws of physics, but because expansion itself has no speed limit. Relativity restricts motion through space, not the growth of space itself. This creates a boundary. A cosmic horizon. Beyond that horizon lies reality that can never be seen, measured, or contacted. Entire regions of the universe exist permanently outside our reach. No signal from beyond that boundary can ever arrive here, no matter how advanced our technology becomes. And that horizon is not fixed. With every passing second, more galaxies cross it. They fade from our future forever, slipping beyond visibility, not because they cease to exist, but because the universe carries them away faster than their light can follow. The James Webb Space Telescope did not merely reveal more galaxies. It revealed that the universe is slowly disappearing from us. Cosmic expansion is accelerating, driven by a mysterious force known as dark energy. This acceleration ensures that the loss is permanent. Galaxies visible today are already on borrowed time. Their light reaches us now, but no future signal, no message, no warning, no confirmation of existence, ever will. They are not destroyed. They are simply cut off. This loss is not accidental. It is not temporary. It is written into the structure of reality itself. There is no single, shared universe experienced by everyone everywhere. Each observer exists within an observable bubble, a region defined not only by distance but by time and causality. Everything inside that bubble is, in principle, knowable. Everything outside it is not just unknown, but unknowable. Stand somewhere else in the cosmos, and the observable universe would look different. Vastly overlapping with ours, yet never identical. Entire galaxies exist that you will never see, not because instruments fail, but because physics forbids their light from ever reaching you. There is no view from everywhere. There is no cosmic vantage point that sees all. Distance is not just space. Distance is time. To observe something far away is to observe the past. The deeper you look into space, the further back in history you fall. There is no universal present moment shared across the cosmos. Every region of the universe exists in its own, now, permanently out of sync with every other. Even if intelligent civilizations are common, spread across countless worlds, most will never communicate. Not because they choose silence. Not because they are hostile. But because causality itself prevents connection. The universe is filled with histories, not conversations. At this scale, numbers lose their meaning. Trillions of galaxies. Hundreds of billions of stars in each. Possible planets beyond counting. 
the mind struggles to hold such magnitude. Intuition fractures under the weight of it all. In a universe this vast, how can anything matter? The James Webb Space Telescope does not answer that question. It changes it. Significance was never about occupying space. Nothing meaningful fills a measurable fraction of a universe this enormous. Importance does not come from scale. It arises locally, in rare and fragile regions where complexity becomes awareness, where matter learns to look back at the cosmos and ask questions. We exist in a fleeting era. A narrow window in cosmic time when the universe still remembers its own beginning. When the afterglow of creation is still visible. When expansion can still be measured. When origins can still be inferred. In the far future, observers will see almost nothing. No cosmic background radiation. No evidence of expansion. No trace of a beginning. The universe will appear empty, static, timeless, an illusion of eternity built on forgotten history. This window is closing. Webb did not make humanity insignificant. It removed the illusion that meaning comes from size. Consciousness is rare. Understanding is not inevitable. Awareness is not guaranteed. The ability to look into darkness, discover that it is full, and feel awe instead of indifference may be one of the rarest phenomena in the entire observable universe. The universe does not care whether you understand it.